and Xanadu. Oh, That's yeah. what I was going. Yeah, he was. He died, and we said. So I, look, I understand actors have to work, and today it's not old Hollywood. What I don't want them to do is to just come in and have to remind the audience, of the audience of the great films that they were in by making fun of it in this really cheap ass film. And Al Pacino's constantly throwing shit out there from The Godfather. Well, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Let me ask this. Does he say? Say hello to my little friend. No, because they. Well, yes, he does, but they had to clip from from uh, Scarface in there, so you know. See, he to, to me, it. that's that's automatically takes a movie's rating down. Okay, see, yeah, when I when there. the point where I left, and I literally, oh, I was like half hour in, I was like, "There's no way I'm making it past an hour." But I always tell myself now, an hour is as I, if I'm freaking out, I can make it to an hour. And if I'm like, if I still can't take it, then I'm leaving. And I left it precisely an hour after this movie started. Okay, guys, I get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Under Adam Sandler goes, I gotta go do some Hershey squirts. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, and that's, you know, you can see I it coming. Like going to the audience, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> yeah, they, they have him show up, you know, as Jill. They have Jill go to a, a Mexican picnic just so the joke can lead up to, to her not being able to handle the chimichangas so she can, like, <laughs> go and take a shit and do it very loudly while Jack is at the door talking to her. I mean, it's... It hey, was, which was a scene that uh, I thought was pretty funny. Uh, it, it, sure, it's gonna, it's, lead, lead, it's leading up to a shit joke, but the the actual scene where he's hanging out, you know, well, let's see, where he... Where, where, Jill is hang, where Jill is hanging out with the Mexican family, I was laughing throughout that entire scene. I thought that was a pretty well-done scene. It was a, it was more put together than the whole first hour of the movie, You actually. need to put uh, back on your football helmet and go like try and make a touchdown syndrome. Hey, you didn't something. see that scene. <laughs> so shut up. You know, I, you see, now there's certain things There's, here's the other thing that that i think look if you really like adam sandler and you like everything about his movies it's there for me he's starting to repeat a pattern that gets old i think that's why i was a little lenient on his earlier films and now i'm just like i i don't really I, i'm not falling for that anymore i've seen too many of them maybe if i hadn't i'd be a little more easy on this on this movie there's you know like we all know in every movie he has to have the little kid that does weird stuff and this is the adopted little indian boy that loves tape and he goes to the movie taping things to himself he brings in all his friends that come in and try to, and, and they try to create a catchphrase. Ever since you can do it, he's brought in people to try to do that same thing. Now we have a guy who plays the Mexican garden in this in, in this movie. And I forgot the actor's name. I don't even know if I know the actor, but he, his whole catchphrase is, "I'm kidding, I'm kidding," and it just seems like they are really forcing that so that he can be the next Rob Schneider in the, in future Adam Sandler movies. How sad is that? <laughs> that yeah, that that poor is, guy. Yeah. <laughs> I kid. You, you're going to be the next Rob Schneider. Wait, I thought Nick Swanson was going to be the next Rob Schneider. <laughs> nope. Yeah, he didn't work out yeah. so well. Yeah, he's like, where's my catchphrase? <laughs> okay, okay, you're going to be the next Nick Swanson. How and about Nick that? Nick Swanson yeah. is now becoming a regular in these movies, too. And, you know, he's playing the same guy. I, 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 you Nick know, Swanson's only catchphrase should be, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'm the one that always comes in and says, to man, this movie had a heart at the end. But mm-hmm. this movie asks us to feel sorry for a character that the only reason why you're supposed to feel sorry for is because when Adam Sandler finally says, you're annoying, she gets mm-hmm. up, he's like, why is everybody picking on me? I don't understand. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, I can't think. I'm going home to my dead mother. And it's like, I, really, that's, I'm supposed to feel sorry for that? Because I know I'd be like, bitch, go. When, you look, when, you, when you're looking at a woman that's pretty much Adam Sandler in a fucking wig, I would feel sorry. If there's a real woman out there, my fucking heart is bleeding out to her because, yes, Wow, good luck in life because damn, you you better go find a bird and make be friends because you ain't finding nobody. I mean, looking like Adam Sandler with a wig, and, and, I, bu- and, I, with- and I bought and I bought that premise. I dude, mean- <laughs> dude, that's the problem though is that if it had just been that she was ugly, I would have been like, okay, but she's not. She's ugly inside. Yeah, nobody- she is a hideous human being. Oh yeah, she's no- awful. You were so right. She's I, a caged like, animal no crying to be loved. What's, what's, what's the worst thing she does? Well, two, it's just non. It's things. just non. It's not one big thing. It's just nonstop. She says incredibly rude things to people everywhere she goes. She's just like, I mean, she's just up into everybody's business. She's like, you come out of the shower, and she's sitting there taking a shit while you're in the shower. I mean, it's just yeah. everything she does constantly is like, argues. What the fuck is wrong yeah. with you? Constantly argues about stuff and repeats the wrong information when you know, and everybody's giving her constantly giving her the right answer. And, and Maybe, to the yeah. point where it's surreal. Like yeah. no one is that that fucked up without being like like having like a spear flew through their head at one point. <laughs> Leon, Leon one she's thing. screaming for love. You want to know one big thing that she does? That's wrong. She exists. That's what. Yeah. That's what you. Here's the biggest. Is 42 thing, years too too soon to abort? 
<laughs> yeah. Can you still can you still abort, have an abortion at that so, point? Somebody should have pulled this character aside and just said, "This is why nobody likes you." You know, yeah. nobody ever does that. Everybody just feels like, "Oh, we got to step on eggshells around her because she's loud." You know, fuck that. You know, <laughs> yeah, she needs psychiatric help. It's like, man. bitch, you need to tone your shit down it, right now. And then they play this game to make you go, "No, she's fine. It's just the family she has problems with." Where like everyone else seems to like her, but you never actually see the or hear the conversations going on when everyone else is like oh you're great because there's no way they could make that work oh yeah she's not, she'd be a totally different character this movie it is a jumble it is just one scene after another of somebody getting knocked in the head somebody doing a prat fall somebody doing a nasty fart joke or digging in their ear or something and but it leads up to the obvious all these are just small chunks of of nothing until we get to the point where oh when is Adam Sandler going to have to dress up like his sister to fool somebody? Uh, you know, that old trick. The movie is uh, 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 the movie is the movie has nothing, and when it finally has something, it's a lame trick. And I'm just like, no, no, I I really want to because look, I tell you something. I I too, as much as I'm talking about Adam Sandler, I like Adam Sandler. I really do. But this is the this is the part where I had to pack my bags and tell Adam Sandler I still love you, but you have no power over me anymore. I have to leave, <laughs> and I'd be like, "See you later, Corey. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out." He'd be like, "That's all right. I got co-hosts." <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. He slowly closes the door. You see co-hosts yeah. in bed under the sheets back yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Adam Sandler looks to me and goes, "Hey, co-host, who is that again? I, I don't know. <laughs> co-host of a nation of paramecium." <laughs> the biggest problem with this movie is that it really does seem like an excuse. I mean, I was joking earlier, but I'm serious. It seems like. Adam Sandler says, you know what, in my stand-up, whenever I made funny voices, that amused people. And for some reason now he thinks he can carry it for an hour and a half. And he can because these movies make money. Yeah. But <clears throat> right now, uh, besides making you know funny voices and making money off of that, these movies have become bigger with cameos. And now he has – I mean these movies have gotten so big, he's bringing in cameos from – infomercials mm-hmm. he's got a sham wow guy but Sham-wow. you know what those oh. weren't cameos jared from from subway those isn't. weren't cameos they were product placement there's a difference <laughs> <laughs> they just got the spokesman for products yeah, yeah, yeah you're absolutely right yeah that's how he was able to afford to get al pacino because every frame of this film has product placement in it. Yeah. which is that new really is that really new to an no, adam sandler but the, film but no but, but that's but what i'm saying just, just, you know it's, it, it did used to seem like he would put these things in there because he's like you know what i love these these things and people love these things and they'll just laugh because these things are in there remind them of home but it's gotten to that ridiculous point where it's like you know what you're just making sure this movie's paid what? for that's it's, the thing it, it, he's like he's like looks at morgan spurlock and goes amateur yeah yeah you ain't got none on this but that's the thing man he's like you know i understand johnny depp you know making a cameo in there. i understand some other big stars making a cameo in there but when you're bringing in like billy blanks i mean you know i even started saying athletes michael urban is in here and they were making a big deal how he's gonna be in this movie He's only in there just in the background moving his lips. I mean, he's hardly saying anything. It's like, wow, this is just an excuse to get your friends together, pal around, and then take a trip. You know, in all these movies, we see Adam Sandler not taking a trip. Not any different here. They took a they they went on a trip, I think, on a maiden on a maiden voyage of a major cruise line now. And it's like, you know, I maybe I'm just seeing the too much transparency in these movies to really enjoy them and that's why it's just not for me if you people enjoy them that's fine i've seen too many of these movies to like really like them anymore i don't mind product placement if it's obviously to help something that was having trouble getting made get made sure. but that's not what's going on here that's this is just whorishness plain and simple <laughs> it's not like these are expensive films to make right come on hey well i love it you fooling? i loved it when johnny Depp makes his appearance not only does he make an appearance but at the same time i don't know if you caught this card but He's also wearing a Justin Bieber shirt. I saw that. Which was awesome. <laughs> no, you know what? It's little things like that, man. I laughed at. I really mm. did. And I, and I wish, I wish to God. I mean, he, he, you know, he's looking at me right now. He says, Corey, I know you're telling the truth. You know, but <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you, I, I wish that I could enjoy this movie more because I did chuckle at some things. But it's just the blatantness of it all. Like the things I just men- mentioned. I, I can't get past that, man. It's sad to me. This fucking movie. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's got a movie that makes me, I don't know, I never come out feeling this bad about things, but I've, I, I've, I've kind of lost a little faith now. In, in, in Damn, people. you're I, thinking too hard, yeah, Corey. You're nah, thinking you know, too I, hard. It, it took some of your humanity. <laughs> it did, it did. I, I don't know. It's just, uh, I, 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 if it's not clear right now, I'm giving this movie some bullshit, and it probably would have been a fuck you had I not laughed. That's where that laughter comes in. Yeah, I heard you and, laughing, and, and Al Pacino, <laughs> Good. I'm glad he's having fun, but really, 
I, I don't. I still don't understand. Yeah, it just made me angry. It's not like the guy is broke. Come on, you don't. I don't care. There's a point. Yeah, they say every man can be bought. And I'm sure Sandler drove a dump truck full of money up to his house. And if it was me, yeah, you got damn right. I'd appear in a terrible fucking Adam Sandler film because I don't have a dump truck full of money. <laughs> yeah. Pacino's got like eighty of the damn well, no, things. No, no, Pacino might not because he is an actor. Sometimes they go through money. But you can't tell me Johnny Depp is hurting for money. No, no, no. He's and the last to be fair, guy. he's in it for like a minute, maybe. And even so, the whole time he's just like, God damn you, Al. Why the fuck did you talk me into this? Because that's what it feels like. Hey, didn't. hey, Johnny, I got you a movie with Al Pacino. Oh, thanks, man. I've been waiting for that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of Adam's yeah. evil yeah, put, trickery. Put on oh, this Justin Bieber shirt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's more like, hey, Johnny, I got this picture of you and Al Pacino having sex with that lamb. <laughs> Shit, man. I would be surprised if they added the Bieber shirt in post. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Would, be, you know, that would have made, made it made it hilarious. <laughs> It'd be funny if Justin Bieber was the only one to be like, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, right. They want me to be in what? The, the, yeah, the movie? fuck you won't. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got, no, we got right. your shirt. <laughs> so yeah. Cyrus, what you give me? Oh well, you know what? Like I said, I walked out after an hour, so it's a fuck you by default. <laughs> I, I I absolutely hated this piece of shit. I was so mad, sitting there just getting madder and madder, going, please, just one thing, just make me at least chuckle. Oh my God! This is just an insult to humanity, not not just See, film. I, I, oh, the humanity! I thought it was hilarious while I was laughing. And I can hear in the corner of my ear, Cyrus go. <sighs> you know, Cyrus, that, Cyrus, that's icing on the cake for you, me. I, I don't know what it is, but he's that guy. If you sit next to him, I don't lie to you. Sometimes I don't want to sit next next to you because I know it's a movie that. You were just not gonna like, and I know I'm gonna laugh at, and I'm gonna be sitting next to you like you're my daddy or something. Like I shouldn't be laughing, you know. <laughs> I better be quiet for you. Hear me. It's yeah. for your yeah. own good, Corey. You just have to not give a shit like me. He's gonna, he's gonna take me on the lobby and spank me if I laugh. <laughs> because I, because I, you know what? Honestly, I agree a lot with what you guys are saying. Um, I would completely write off Adam Sandler if. I didn't see a hint that he was actually really trying to do something with this story because I thought it wasn't until like the last 30 minutes where I'm like, okay, I see what this story is. It's a, it's about him having a really ugly sister who can't find a fucking date to save her life. She can't find love in her life and the only thing she cares about is being with her family. And I was like, you know what? I liked how they actually touched upon that story the last 15, 20 minutes to wrap it up. And I'm like, you know what? This guy has a good – he has his heart in a good place. All right? I can't write – sure, he's going to throw some fucking Pepto-Bismol up at the screen. So what? That's fucking Hollywood. I mean, that's what I expect out of these fucking movies. But I was like, you know what? This movie definitely has its moments where it made me, like, really laugh. I'm like, you know what? All right, every time they do something where I'm, I'm like, oh, God, this is stupid – they, they did something hilarious, like Al Pacino. Yeah, yeah, he goes and he he covers his Al Pacino ground. But you know what? I love Al Pacino when he's like that. He made me fucking laugh. But I'm I'm gonna give this movie a rental because I mean, like I said, the first hour, I was really thinking, okay, this is a big fuck you because wow, this is so jumbled, so fucked up. I don't know if they were trying to rush this movie out, but it looks like it. But actually, as it went along, the laughs got better. Some scenes actually like really made me laugh. And hey. So I'd rent it. Yeah. The first hour of it was a piece of shit. It was complete so the piece of shit. Last fifteen minutes was bearable, and that gives it a yeah, rental. When, no, the know, last like thirty what he's minutes. He's trying to yeah. make me do is like wonders like the, the actors go like, "Is he gone? Is Cyrus gone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this shit going." Yeah. <laughs> the movie was just awesome. Now actually. let's make a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The fuck I would... are talking shit about my mm. movies. Really, at this point, what can you do with Adam Sandler? I mean, what Adam Sandler as a baby? You know that? You know, oh, <laughs> why are you saying this out loud? Oh, I got one. Adam Sandler. As a crow, it's just him on a wire. I know, Billy Madison too, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, yeah, stop Adam. looking at me, Leon. 